Hello everyone, I'm Sebastian Uribe, making another YouTube video. Now, in this video, well, it's a bit different from other videos I have made, uh, and it's basically just on two aspects. The first one is that I'm capturing, uh, well, the screen on my computer, as you may notice. I'm not using a video camera. And, well, the other one is that it's not a project, or it's not a review of an object, or uh, a DIY project or something I teach you to do or anything like that uh, it's an idea well yeah an idea of something I've I've seen so uh, it's dedicated to Kip K but uh, any people uh, anyone can do it and well it'd be cool so I bet you've seen uh, this video from Kip K and these door sensors can also be used indoors oh as wait well. a minute that can, it alerts me with a chime Whenever the infrared beam is broken, it alerts me with a chime. Not only does this work at night, but it'll work with any intruder who wants to come on your property. Or perhaps this one. Oh man. Sorry about this. Is that, is that I didn't rewind the beaming them. box with your siren and make sure your laser lines up directly with the photo cell. I've enhanced the beam with some smoke so you can see it, but no burglar would ever be able to see your laser alarm. And once that beam is broken. <laughs> And that's how to protect your home with laser beams. And obviously the this this new one, and uh, well, it's kind of cool actually. Tripwire, bang alarm. Suspecting enemy runs into your tripwire. Sorry. Bang alarm. The next time your unsuspecting enemy runs into your tripwire, off goes the bang alarm. The tripwire bang alarm has given away their location. And that's how to make your very own tripwire bang alarm. Oh, and I've got one more video for you paintball and airsoft warriors. You're not going to want to miss this one, so click subscribe so you don't miss it. So, well, basically I bet you've seen those three videos. And I've discovered that uh, the, for example, the infrared intruder, in the infrared intruder alert, well, it doesn't have any problems. The protected, well, the DIY project of the la little laser has the problem that the siren only sounds for a very short amount of time because it's it sounds during the only when the beam is broken so when the beam hits the photo cell again it will stop sounding so it sounds for a very very short amount of time and the tripwire bang alarm well has a little fishing line and uh, so you could run into that fishing line and trip and you could, you know, break your face or your head or, or you could even fall. Well, just fall, but I hope it doesn't happen to any of you. But anyway, I just want to prevent that accident. And I made some major modifications. So here's the first one. So this one uh, well, would work with a, the, the, the laser. But you could also use the, door, the garage door sensors, which are, I don't know, how hard they, they are to get, but in Colombia they're very hard to get because we use apartments, we live in apartments and not houses so uh, it's easier to do with a laser pointer or a laser so well the laser it's just basically like the one on the the, the protect your home with lasers and that on that video so it just turns on the laser and it hits the photo cell, right? So this is the the control circuit that controls this electric brushed motor. So when the contact with the photo cell is broken, no matter what, no matter if the contact is well reestablished immediately or the contact is broken for a very long amount of time, the brushed motor would move for well from for two to three seconds to move well shaft about ninety degrees or forty five degrees and uh, preferably make this with a very strong motor and uh, so s that's basically it's very basic circuit oh man what did I just do I don't know so well it's a, just a very basic circuit and uh, so yeah just move the motor just a little bit or well maybe to make it even simpler if the contact is not uh, re-established in a very long amount of time the motor would tr keep turning doesn't matter because these motors usually don't burn out because of that it it has to be for a very long time so uh, this is the setup so here's a receiver the motor which should be attached to this but well <laughs> I just did it like that and this little this little line that simulates the string 
So the motor moves in the direction of this arrow, and it pulls the string, pulls the little bait pedal, and it activates the mousetrap, hitting the nail, this nail in the head, and while well, the little ring caps explode, and while well, they make the bang, of course you could replace the motor and the mousetrap with a siren. So in that case, the the alarm will work more than once, will will make the loud noise more than once. Now here's the optional addition you can make to the alarm, as and it's all all the red part here. So you can see well, the black part is the part that's basically just needed. Again, the motor can be replaced with a siren in this case, which in my ca in my opinion would be better. So the control circuit one sends the electricity to the motor, but notice that the circuit number two is connected to the wires going to the motor. So when it's activated, when it's triggered, the electricity will flow through these wires and go to the control circuit number two. So uh, so my idea is that the, when electricity flows, this little LED will turn off, let's say around 10 to 15 seconds. And no matter if the, if the electricity keeps flowing, or well, if the electricity keeps flowing, the LED will, will keep on. And if, well, if it stops flowing, it'll stay on for 15 to 20 seconds. Let's say that'd be a good idea. So, uh, so yeah, the LED, and I'll go to that LED just now. So here's the new setup. Again, all this can be replaced with the siren, except for the LED. So, of course, the wires on the LED would be much, much, much longer. I, I'd say about, uh, I don't know, about uh, 100 meters, well, about 100 yards, or something like that. About 300 feet. So, well, uh, I think it's about 300 feet. So, let's say here's your, your little battlefield. And those P's are the map panels, which I'll go in a sec. And the, the oh, I know here, the P equal map panel. The red lines are the alarm traps. Well, the, that equals the length of the alarm traps. You can see some are shorter and some are longer. But, well, so these are map panels. Again, the P's are optional. The map panels are optional if you do the small addition. So let's say here's the map panel. Be sure to read the underlines again. So P map panel, alarm trap, inactive, activity detected, and well, you are here. So let's say, let's ignore this little thingy here for now. And let's say you are here. Let's say this is a map of the battlefield. So, and your enemy or your victim runs into this, this alarm. And you hear the siren. But you, you're not sure if, the, if you ran into this alarm, this alarm, or this alarm. So what would you do? Just go to the panel and look at it. So you're actually looking at the panel right now. And well, it indicates you are here. So you can see, oh, I'm here. And, and the activity detected LED will be here. So you say, well, the alarm that was triggered was this one. So you just go running and catch your victim and... Well, just kill him or catch him or whatever you have to do with him. And as you may see, they're spread. And those circles would be illuminated by two LEDs. So first one is a dim green LED, right? Which is dim and is always on as long as the, the security system is on. So when he runs into the... When your victim or enemy runs into your, your alarm, the red LED would, would turn on. Again, if you're using the if you're using this to protect your house, the ideal thing is that the LED would keep on until you want it to turn off. But if you you're playing a game, well, the LED should turn off in 15 seconds. So uh, the 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 um, what? So oh man, what 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 was I saying now? So let's say your victim runs into this alarm the LED will turn on. So the red LED is brighter than the green LED. So the green LED will overshine the the green LED. Ah oh man, what am I saying? Okay, let's start all over again. <laughs> so let's say your victim runs into this one and all the green LEDs here are turned on until your enemy runs into, let's say, this alarm here. 
So in this case, the green LED would keep on, but over that green LED, a red LED would turn on. And the red LED has to be brighter than the green LED, so it looks red. So you can see, well, it's red, and you'd say, oh my goodness, someone's broke into my backyard. Well, if you're protecting your home, and if you're protecting your home, the ideal thing is that the LED keeps on for a much longer period of time. But if you're playing a game, then well, the, the ideal thing is that the LED keeps on for 10 to 15 seconds. So, well, if you can see, you can see, oh my goodness, someone's running to this alarm, so someone's here that I don't want here. And, well, you go there and catch him, or scold him, or do whatever, whatever you have to do with him. Well, that's basically it. Now, this is a idea, into a proposal dedicated to Kip K himself. Because I saw his videos and I liked him, but I saw those two problems on his alarms. So I decided to make a proposal to correct him. Now, I don't know much about electronic, even though I love it, I don't know much. So I wouldn't be able to design those circuits. But uh, anyways, uh, he, Kip K knows a lot about that, well, I hope, and he would be able to design those circuits, and will make the project possible, and I'd be very happy with him if he made that project possible. So please subscribe, rate, and comment this video, and even share it, and won't well, leave me a comment telling me what, well, what you think about this alarm. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time in another Yuri Bido 66 Sips YouTube video.